St. Stephen's was a family and we all cared deeply about everybody. It really was a family. That's where all of my kids grew up was in that church, so they knew everybody there. They had a big heart for ministry and cared for the, the wider world. We tried to look outside of ourselves and help other people. We tried very hard to be faithful together. St. Stephen's was a family, and doesn't that sound like what Christ intended? St. Stephen's Presbyterian Church was faithful in ministry, but church leaders struggled to find the right property as real estate prices were climbing in Sacramento. They had to find another way to be faithful to God's call. To have a dream and then see that it's not coming into fruition is kind of heartbreaking. People were getting more and more tired and there was frustration. There were probably anywhere from 60 to 80 people at church on a given Sunday and we kind of hung in at those numbers for quite a few years and then it went down to 50 and then it went down to 40 and you could see the membership you know dropping off and you know that it can't go on forever and what was amazing was seeing how God worked through them to rebuild a new dream a new focus the new dream was for St. Stephen's to live on past its closing. The Presbyterian Foundation found a way to help St. Stephen's continue its ministry in new and exciting ways. I think one of the most helpful roles that the Foundation played was in opening our eyes to the possibilities. The session of St. Stephen's, when they would come out of the meetings with the Presbyterian Foundation, left with a sense of, of optimism uh, that the work that they had loved would be continuing on. Once we realized we could do that and we could make a difference forever with the money we had, that made it okay to close. And in fact, we're doing, I think, more good now than we ever were doing when we were a very small church. Today, their endowment feeds the hungry, builds homes, educates children, and blesses neighbor churches with ongoing support. One of those ministries that thrives now is the North Highlands Food Bank. We would not be here in this facility if it was not for the endowment from St. Stephen's. We serve approximately 500 families a month, which comes out to about 12 to 1,300 people. The dreams and the hopes are living on from the people that were at St. Stephen's. And this is one of the things they really wanted. And I see it three times a week, three days a week and I've seen it for nine years. Beyond their local community, their generosity extends around the world through the Presbyterian Disaster Assistance, one of the beautiful ministries of our national church. We basically are the compassionate arm of the PCUSA, engaging in helping people recover, both short-term and long-term, after natural or unnatural disaster. So I'm truly, truly grateful to St. Stephen's, and we will do our best to make sure that their impact continues long after their doors have closed. The stewardship of gifts is at the heart of the Presbyterian Church, and it extends to our work at the Presbyterian Foundation. One of our sacred calls is Project Regeneration, a foundation program that helps struggling churches just like St. Stephen's in their transitions and transformation. The Presbyterian Foundation has been around for more than 200 years, and they have been a steady hand in caring for the church uh, from generation to generation. We looked back at our history and reminded ourselves of the things that we had done and the, the ways that we had been faithful. And we knew that going forward and closing our doors was a way where we could continue to be God's faithful people. Yeah, it was definitely more a celebration than a death. And that was something as a church we had, over the years, said, we need to get better at celebrating things. It's okay that things end. And so to get better at celebrating the ends of things, like with what we did for all these years. So there is a resurrection happening in the church every day. And there's resurrection happening when a church is able to close and fund and leave a legacy for new ministries in the church. Someone said, and I, of course, will never forget it, you know, that means St. Stephen's is going to be helping to promote God's love in the world in all of these ways forever 
until Christ comes again. And just thinking that thought gives me shivers. I've, I've got goosebumps now just thinking that and it's always made me feel the victory with the opportunity we have had to have a legacy. That's a powerful testimony. If you hear this story and believe that God may be calling your church to make a similar step of faith, please reach out to us and give us a call. Our team will be glad to talk to you about how Project Regeneration might help your church as well. And as always, thanks for your faithfulness.